What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, it's been a while since I've made an unboxing. So, as you can see by the title and by the box right in front of me, we have an unboxing today. Today we have the Corsair Gaming M65 Pro RGB mouse in white. Now, if you guys follow the channel, you know that I like the black and white combo and this mouse matches perfectly with everything. So we're gonna be unboxing it and um, we're gonna see, you know, our first impressions. So currently I'm rocking the Razer Death Adder, not the Death Adder, the Mamba tournament edition with RGB colors and all that good stuff. But today we have the M65 Pro and once again, RGB with the white color just, I think looks better. It makes the colors pop out a little more. So without further delay, let's check it out. So this mouse does have a 12,000 DPI optical sensor. Uh, from what I've heard and experienced, optical sensors are a little bit better than laser sensors. And the, the Mamba that I have over here has a laser sensor. So the optical sensor on this mouse should be a little bit better. It has surface calibration, not sure how that's gonna work. The dynamic multicolor backlighting, once again, RGB. FPS proven aircraft uh, grade aluminum frame and some other, oh wait, weight tuning system for optimizing center of gravity. Yeah, this mouse does have a little weight system on the bottom. Dedicated sniper button for extreme accuracy. Yep, I believe that button like helps you hold your breath or something when you have the sniper. So that's that'll be fun to try out. Uh, you guys could see uh, the some of the specifications on the side or some of the features and requirements. Uh, high mass scroll wheel, of course, eight programmable buttons. You could program them. It's always a positive. Advanced center of gravity, yep. Fast tuning precision switches. Very good. Extra large PTFE glide pad. I don't know what PTFE stands for, but if it, if it glides well, then perfect. Optimized sniper button once again. So we're gonna open it right now. Now we haven't seen this knife in the channel in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. This is a knife I normally use to like open all the boxes and stuff. It opens pretty well. I've had it for almost two years now. And I think that's all I'm gonna need it for, just a tape. I don't even know if I got it on camera. Okay, I think I got it. Yep, there we go. That was a little tougher than I thought. So unlike Razer's black and green scheme, this one has a black and yellow uh, theme going on, which still looks pretty good. And here we have the mouse, nothing else inside the package. Take all this out, it is wired. I haven't moved on to wireless just yet. Okay, how am I gonna take out all this stuff? A few moments later. All right, here we go. Very nice braided cable. We got some, a manual. I don't think Corsair ships with stickers, do they? Sure hope they do. After some struggle, here is the mouse. Nice close above it. Looks very, very nice. Corsair logo right there. The sniper button, pretty clicky. It sounds like every other button. We do have a DPI switch buttons right there. This has some Corsair branding on the side. Very nice. We got the weight system here. I'm not sure how you take them out. I don't know if you have to spin them or like, I'll figure that out somehow. But yeah, we got the grips on the side and overall very, very nice design. This is meant for a claw grip and so far it feels pretty good. So we're gonna plug it in and see how it performs. Oh, by the way, the cable braided and stuff looks pretty good. Oh, and by the way, I love when companies add this thing here, the Velcro strap. That's always a positive. Makes it much easier for cable management. So as you can see, the Corsair logo lights up, like I said, and it does have a nice underglow right there, which looks pretty nice. Very nice. The DPI button also switches, or turns on, I mean. And there is a little bit of light in the front, so that's very good. And I don't know if this is a new mouse effect or something like that, but listen to the Razer Mamba. And now listen to the uh, the M65 Pro. This one feels a little bit smoother and stuff. So I don't know if that's just because the the little grips on the bottom are brand new, and this one like they're completely worn out and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this one feels very smooth. So far, first impressions. I mean, feels very very good. The DPI switch works great, and it also changes color. So I guess red is the lowest, and white is normally where I like to keep it, somewhere around 1800 and stuff. But so far, moving it around the screen and stuff feels very, very good. And for those of you who want to hear a sound test, here you go. Uh, 
And if you want to hear that in comparison with the Razer Mamba, So far, personally, I like how the Corsair M65 sounds a little bit better than the Mamba. I mean, it's not really a deal breaker or anything like that. If it sounds the way it sounds, and you know, I'm not going to decide to buy it or not. But I do like the clicky sound of the M65 Pro so far. All right, so we're hopping into some Ghost Recon Wildlands right now. And so far, from what I could tell, the weight system, like with all three weights on it, I haven't taken anything out. It feels very good, like the gliding and stuff, everything feels perfectly smooth. I'm gonna come over here and pick a fight with some people, just to see how the aiming is. Okay, so far so good. Very nice, very comfortable, I could see this mouse becoming my, my main mouse. Overtaking the Razer Mamba. Where is this guy? This isn't story mode or anything, I'm just playing... I mean, this isn't multiplayer, I'm just playing the story. Just trying to take over this little base right here. But so far, so good. Very impressed. Check out an explosion real quick. Oh, there's a guy somewhere. Very nice explosion. Alrighty. There's a guy right here. And... Bada boom, bada bam. Where is he? There he is. That guy is gone. Okay, so so far this mouse is excellent. I'm really liking it. I like the design, how it looks, the lighting and stuff. And so far the feel is also a thumbs up for me. This so, out the ultimate disrespect. We got Corsair and Razer in the same platform. I have noticed that unlike the Mamba, there's no tilt function on the scroll wheel. So you can only go up and down, but not to the side. It may not bother many of you, but I actually kind of use that quite a bit, especially because I have the browser opened up in a small window. Not really that small, but sometimes you have to scroll to the side and stuff to view some more information. So this could be a downside, but I could see, you know, me getting around it. It's not really a big deal. So that pretty much concludes my unboxing of the Razer. So that pretty much concludes my unboxing of the Corsair M65 Pro RGB maps so you guys saw by the gameplay that i really enjoyed it so far it seems perfectly fine perfectly comfortable even with that claw grip i'm used to a palm grip but the claw grip actually felt pretty good i didn't really miss any shots or anything like that it felt very comfortable i didn't try the sniper button but i will try it in the coming days in games like iron sight and stuff like that so stay tuned for a full review that i'll have in about a week or so and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one